Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We are over here in Gospel of Luke, chapter 14 today, verses 21 through 24. Uh, the king has invited people to the wedding, and they're kind of busy with every other mundane thing. They're not coming. Let's see the reaction of the king. So that servant came and reported these things to his master, all the excuses we heard yesterday morning. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in here the poor and the maimed and the lame and the blind. And the servant said, Master, it is done as you commanded, and still there is room. Then the master said to the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say to you, that none of those men who were invited shall taste my supper. When God has a blessing for us, and we turn up our nose, and we're not interested in it. We're busy with, you know, watching these cartoons over here. We're busy watching this sports event. We're, what, 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 you know, we're, what are we doing? And so we learn here that he's determined he is going to bless some people. He's going to include some people, but he's going to find some people who want to be included. And a lot of times we don't want to be included. We're off in our own corner. We're in a, a atomized, fractured society. Everybody's off in the corner doing their own thing. They're off... Off over here, like a like a like a mindless drone watching something on the video screen. All of us slack jawed, uh, being entertained while the world's getting ready to burn. Friends, we can do better, and the Lord will help us do better. He says, "Go out into the highways and hedges and bring them all. You know, urge them to come in, compel them to come in. No, don't force them to come in, but we should be uh, diligent in inviting people to the King's Supper." And most Christians are not diligent in inviting people to the King's Supper. In fact, most of them themselves stay away. Oh, what tragedies, what needless tragedies. May we not be among these excuse people. Oh, oh let's pray. Father in heaven, we are hypnotized by the things in our generation. We're hypnotized by the colors flashing on the screen, the things moving, and the little flickering images. And we don't realize the lateness of this hour. We don't realize the, the individual work you'd have us to do to be soul winning for others. Get through our thick head. Help us and use us so that many, many can come in. Come in from the highways and heads. Lord, may we actually invite them to come in, come to the to the feast of the great king. This is this is a desire in Jesus' name. We ask you to have that desire in our hearts. Amen. Friend, let's go out and urge them to come to the supper of the great king. May God's blessings be upon you as you do these things.